Okay, today's video is making surf cast sinkers part two. We've got our uh, Lee Magnum melter set at uh, 8.5 or 8.5. It's been on for at least 25 minutes. My lead is all melted, but I got a lot of slag here. So I got to clean that off. Just use a regular spoon. Knock it off. Make sure when you uh, do all this. I like doing it on the floor. There's nowhere for this uh, melter to fall. You also want to make sure you don't have any liquids around or you're not near uh, you know, a garage door close enough where it's going to rain on your lead because that's going to cause the pot to explode and you will have nice little lead scars to prove it. So anyways, we get our, get our lead cleaned up. Another thing I like to do too with my ladle is uh, I like to keep it in the lead, get that ladle good and hot. The other thing I did before I started was I took my candle and I lit it and held it sideways and put this mold upside down and I got it to the point where it was burning so much wax it was causing a smelt uh, smoke and uh, I made sure that both sides of the mold uh, are all blackened up and that's going to help you get a better release on your sinkers. First thing we're going to do is try to get this mold heated up. Some guys put it on top of the pot but the truth of the matter is, is all you got to do is a pour or two and uh, once it gets heated up you won't get as many voids. These are big sinkers so it's real common to get voids. So uh, I'm not even going to bother putting in my uh, my wire eyes. These are do it number twos. And I think uh, in the comment or info section of my videos, both of them, it tells all the specs for the molds, where to get them, the size uh, wire eyes. These are number twos. I like to put them on the edge so I can grab them a little easier. But let's go ahead. Uh, this is a five ounce sinker. And we're going to close it up. And oh, this is one thing I wanted to show you too. This is a little trick. Let's say you got some old sinkers and you want to melt them up and not use them, you know, just uh, get a piece of wire like this and make an eye on the end. This one already has it. And uh, just thread your sinkers through on this piece of wire and then drop it into your pot. And after the, melt, uh, the uh, lead melts off of it, your eyes will still be on this wire and they won't dirty up the bottom of your pot. So a little trick there for getting rid of old sinkers. So let's go ahead and fill this five ounce. And you know, don't worry about it if you spill it. And I'm sure this will have some voids. You only have to wait about 10 seconds and that's going to solidify. Okay, well that actually came out pretty good. So, what we want to do now is we want to take these claw pliers and make sure you never hit the mold with your pliers. You're going to put nicks in it and you're going to ruin it. So just grab the edge with your pliers without hitting the mold. Once you grab it, just give it a wiggle back and forth and, and there you go. Now this one's good, but it doesn't have an eye in it, so we'll drop it back in there. Remember, wear long pants, wear long sleeves, leather gloves, don't forget about these safety glasses, and uh, no drinks whatsoever. You can have those cold Budweiser's after your sinkers are done. So, let's put an eyelet in. course it's gonna fight me because I'm doing a video but that's all right it's all right if they're a little crooked you clean that slag off as you have to as you can see I got a piece of plywood here save you from a big mess on your garage floor 
All you need is 10, 15 seconds here. Open it up. Don't hit the mold. And there you go. You got a nice little sinker there. All you got to do now is, uh, this is pretty hot right now, but uh, once it's cool enough, you're going to take your pliers and you're going to cut this top part off. And make sure too, when you uh, when you mount your lead down, if it's wheel whites or whatever, you want to try to clean them up as best you can. Make sure there's no moisture, no grease, and uh, you know they're going to be dirty, so you're going to be cleaning off a lot of a lot of slag, but no biggie. You're going to have to probably clean your slag off, depending on how dirty it is. You know, every five minutes or so, and. Uh, what I like to do is once I get all my lead melted down from wherever my source was, I like to use a, a cupcake tin, a metal tin, and fill them about two thirds up. And now you got nice clean lead to make all your sinkers. Okay, so there's the finished product. Uh, all you have left is to take your pliers and cut the tops off and throw them back into your pot so you can remelt them, and that's it. Takes me a little over a minute to uh, make a sinker. So for these 21 sinkers, I probably saved myself, oh, I don't know, maybe $125, $130. You know, you go to Bass Pro Shop, they want uh, $5.98 for a, f a five ounce sinker. And that's for a, a pyramid. You know, this is a high quality sinker. Heck, you know, by, by the time you make one batch of sinkers, you can buy your your Lee Magnum melter they're only about 60 bucks and then you gotta get a ladle and pliers and you know you're in business so that's it go ahead and start saving money making your own sinkers